Even though I think many of the claims regarding AI and video editing are rubbish, I want to show you a tool that makes a real difference in my day-to-day -day work. I use it with Final Cut Pro, but it works with Premiere and DaVinci as well. But first things first, I use Gling for over a year now. I pay for it with my own money and this video is not sponsored and there is no affiliate link. This is my genuine recommendation. Before using Gling, I would spend about 60 to 90 minutes on a rough edit. This is where I would get rid of silences and bad takes. I always hated this part of the process because there's truly nothing creative about it. But then Gling changed my life. What took me 60 to 90 minutes before, I could now do in 10 to 15 minutes. Here's how it works. This is not supposed to be a tutorial, this is just a quick overview. Here I have recorded a short clip we will use. So first, let's open Gling and drag this to the side here. As you can see, the user interface is very minimal. You can import video files or audio files. I will just drag my clip in here. Then I will name my project, demonstration, and here we go. If you have multiple files, you can add them here. But if you're using an external microphone, this is not the place where you should add them. We will get to this in just a second. Before we continue, down here, you have the option to add a script. Even though Gling's transcriptions are pretty accurate, if you add a script, this brings the whole process to another level. And if you go off script in your video, don't worry, Gling is smart enough to notice this. For this video, I don't have a script, so let's go back and continue. By default, cut silences and cut bad takes is selected. You can also add a jump cut zoom or remove audio noise. Both of which I rather do in Final Cut and Logic respectively, since I record my voiceover straight into Logic. Now. I just click Enhance and Edit. Once it's done, we can start editing. First, let's make Gling a little bit bigger. As you can see, it described the whole clip and it automatically cut the bad takes. I just wanted to say this clip is an example to demonstrate my workflow with Gling. Gling already did a pretty good job. However, I can get rid of this line and get rid of this line. But you don't have to go line by line. If you just want to remove a word, you can hit backspace and it's gone. Everything that has a gray background is being cut out. If you want to get rid of a whole line, you can just click the scissors icon. If a transcription is wrong, you can also correct it or add something to it. But this is more important if you want to export subtitles. Before we have a look at the export menu, let's have a look at the other options here. Down here, you can set the pacing, which pauses should be cut. You can set it to include longer pauses or shorter pauses. Down here, you have a timeline in which you can cut and uncut something or move the cutting points. If you want to play a clip back, just click the cursor where you want to play it and as you can see, the playlist jumps to the corresponding area. Also, it highlights the words as it goes. Maybe let's go to this part to demonstrate this a little bit better. This clip is an example to demonstrate my workflow with Gling. As you just saw, the words are highlighted. You can automatically skip the cuts and change the playback speed. Up here, you have the AI assistant, which lets you create titles and chapters. Let's have a look at the title generator. Demonstrating my workflow with Gling, an example clip. Okay, not too bad. You can change the tone up here if you want to. Let's have a look at the chapters generator. The chapters generator generates chapters, but it doesn't make sense in this demonstration since there is just too little text. Let's have a look at an actual project I did two days ago. As you can see, this is a whole video. And if you're wondering why this is black, it's because I used an audio file. Okay, let's try the chapters generator. And here we go, it did a pretty good job. Unfortunately, these chapters don't come into Final Cut Pro as chapter markers just yet, but I've been told they're working on it. Okay, next let's have a look at the export menu. You can export a video file, an audio file, or subtitles. The subtitles option is great because if you have a finished project, you can just disable cut bad takes and cut silences and use Gling as a subtitle generator. But what I do is I export a Final Cut Pro multicam clip. Then I can close Gling. Over in Final Cut, you just go to File, Import, XML and locate the XML. Then you get a project like this. And if I zoom out here, you can see how Gling put everything into a multicam clip and the cuts are where they need to be. But here comes the real magic. Since this is a multicam clip, I can go into the multicam clip and add angles. I don't want to do this live because this video is already as long as it is. So let's go into my actual project, into the project file here. This is my compound clip for the audio mix down. Let's go in here. And as you can see, here is my multicam clip which I renamed, but essentially this is the multicam clip Gling gave me. I just refined the cuts and as you can see, here I'm talking 
and here is my screen recording. Let's have a look inside the multicam clip. If I go in here, you can see that I have my audio file, which came from Gling. Remember, for this project, I used my audio file. And then I just added my screencast and my A camera. What I did then is set my audio angle as the monitoring angle with video and audio, and then select one clip in the angle, just hit sync selection to monitoring angle. This means my camera and my screencast are automatically synchronized to my audio inside the multicam clip. If I now go out of the multicam clip, like so, you can see that here am I talking and here is my screencast. And to change the angle, I just get rid of the browser and press Command, Shift and 7. This brings up my multicam angles. Now it's important to click this button because I want to cut video only and I want to leave the audio alone. Remember, my voice recording came direct from Logic Pro, so I want to leave that as is. I just want to change the video angle. With this button, I can do this. If I now just click here, you can see how the angle changed. Now it's not my screencast anymore, now it's me talking. If I want to get rid of this cut, I just select the cut and press delete. And just like that, I only need to go through my project and select the active angle. Then if I zoom out, you can see how my timeline for an entire tutorial is pretty neat since everything I need to cut happens within the multicam clip. I can't emphasize the power of this workflow enough. Gling saves me so much time and the multicam clip saves me so much time again. I don't need to worry about syncing my audio or anything. I do this once inside the multicam clip Gling has created for me and then I just don't worry about it anymore. Because it's inside a multicam clip, my audio will always stay in place. But again, this is not supposed to be a tutorial, this is just a broad overview over my workflow. At the time of filming, Gling costs me about 15 euros per month for unlimited use. I know, subscription fatigue is real and I'm tired of subscriptions too. But for a few tools, I really don't mind a subscription. One example is Dropbox, because I'm actively using their server infrastructure to store my files. That infrastructure needs to be maintained, so a subscription makes perfect sense. With Gling, it's the same. Every time you use it, you will occupy Gling's resources. But that is only one part of the equation. The other part is the quality of life improvement and the sheer amount of time I save. I upload two videos per week, this makes eight videos per month. Let's be negative and say I save about 45 minutes per video using Gling. This makes one and a half hour per week or six hours per month, which I can spend on something else. Since I'm self-employed, I need to put a financial value to my time. Currently, it's about 150 euros per hour. This means Gling saves me about 900 euros per month. And for a 15 euro subscription, that's really a no brainer for me. Again, this video was not sponsored. I pay for Gling with my own money. I just really like what it does and how simple it is and how much time it saves me. This is why I wanted to spread the word. You can try it for free, I have linked their website in the video description. And if you want to know how to get rich, natural and film-like colors, you should watch this video next.